I mean, the Sun Times says you have, in its editorials, uh, in, endorsing uh, somebody else's. You've been linked to a white supremacist organization. The Tribune says you're known for neo-Nazi activities. The Southwest News Herald says you've called for the preservation of white neighborhoods and white civilization in general. Is that true? Sure. Why not? What's wrong with preserving white culture? It's under assault all over this country. Every time you turn around, there's some minority that's squawking about uh, some alleged wrong that they experienced. So you, and I just believe that it's time that the, the white people have a, have a defender in the government instead of all these, these uh, uh, wimps that supposedly represent them. So you, ha you are linked to white supremacist organizations? I'm not linked with anything anymore. Or neo-Nazi activity? I'm not linked with anything anymore. I don't even... Were you? In the past, 1979, yes, it's absolutely ridiculous that you bring something like this up because here we got a, a congressman named Bobby Rush who was a member of the cop-killing Black Panther Party. Nobody says boo about that. You have Louis Gutierrez who belonged to the Puerto Rican Liberation Front, an organization that tried to assassinate the President of the United States, Harry Truman. Nobody says anything about that. But something that I did 28 years ago, you keep throwing up in my face all the time. I don't think it's fair. Uh, Mr. Hawkins, uh, is, that a, is that a fair um, issue to bring up? Uh, is this something you've been bringing up? Uh, it's something that I've tried to ignore. I even asked the priest about it because I wanted to know how to deal with somebody that's like that. What and, did your uh, priest tell you? He said that uh, there's only two things you do with evil. One is you ignore it until you can't anymore, and then you destroy it. Excuse he said just me. stay away from them. Excuse so. me. This man has been slamming me all over this district. He said, I am pure evil. He said he doesn't want to be near me, and so on and so forth. This is the first time the man had to... Had to uh, to come out in public. He has not been anywhere. He hasn't been to any endorsement sessions. He hasn't, hasn't been to any uh, candidate forums, anything. He's plain out refused to participate in this campaign. He thinks the Republican Party just going to simply let him coast right through. Okay.